gorgeous day today and once again, not a drop of rain anywhere. Ridge of high pressure is holding strong and will continue to do so even into this weekend as we start to see it weakened a bit. 92 our current temperature, although the heat index 103 is dew points are in the mid 70s, not excessive heat. We're not talking about record breaking temperatures in the low, some mid 90s, and that's not too far off of our normal dew points, though, not exactly helping things. But even these numbers aren't excessive. There are times when the dew points are approaching 80 degrees like we see at Bell Chase, but that could be more widespread. So just got to see the ha glasses half full sometimes. 100 degrees is our record, so not even close to that at our high of 93 degrees, a little above average for this time of year. The ridge is going to hold strong. Now there is an upper trough over Texas actually currently bringing them some rainfall that will start to help erode away the western side of the upper ridge and start to allow a few showers to develop as we get into more so the weekend and early next week. And then also by early next week, we really should start to see the ridge breaking down. So we'll begin to see a few more showers and then looking ahead. Now this is next Wednesday. So a week from today, the GFS is indicating a very deep upper trough that would bring in some much cooler temperatures across not only the central United States, but would make it all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And that will start to kind of retreat up to the north before another little reinforcing trough moves in. So this model does have us very cool as we get into the middle of the end of next week. But in all fairness, here's what the euro says. It is not saying the same thing. This is the euro next Wednesday. Remember the GFS had a big trough across the central part of the nation. The euro is saying eh, not so fast up or low. It's going to be parked over the Rockies and that is going to stay over the Rockies. And for us, ridge of high pressure is going to dominate. So two completely opposite forecasts from the GFS and the euro. Which one do we go with? I'm going to be optimistic. I'm saying the GFS for right now. This is a look at temperatures forecasted Tuesday morning, still on the warm side, and we get into the upper 80s and low 90s during the afternoon. Then as we get into Wednesday, the front starts to move into the area. 1 a.m. Wednesday, we're in the 70s and 80s, and during the day Wednesday, temperatures come down with the front. And then look at Thursday morning. We could see 50s and 60s. So I do think this is a bit more of an extreme, but the, Euro, the GFS has been very consistent with this forecast and that is the thinking with the folks at the Climate Prediction Center that are calling for us to be next week much cooler than normal across the central and southern United States. Let's check out the tropics talking about cold fronts kind of forget that we're still in hurricane season but we are and we're getting closer to the heart of it. Can you find Omar? No, it's very difficult to find. This never really did look like a tropical system. And in fact, about 24 hours after be becoming a name storm, it is down to a depression. So that is going to continue to weaken and stay out over the open water. Tropical storm Nana looking very healthy. What has really helped to keep this as a weaker storm is the fact that it has been in, uh, uh, encountering some wind shear, which has helped to weaken the structure of the storm, not allow those thunderstorms to further intensify. And so it's though not too far off of becoming a hurricane right now being held down to a tropical storm, which would be great news for the folks in Belize, Honduras, and as it continues to move inland over Guatemala. So that would be very good news if this does stay a weaker storm. Hurricane Center right now maintaining its strength as a tropical storm, but strengthening, and they do mention it still could become a hurricane, but as long as that stays weak, that would be good news for them. And again, our two named storms out there, neither a threat to us right now. There are a couple of other the little waves that we will continue to monitor, but right now no threats to the Gulf of Mexico at all. In fact, we're looking forward to hopefully a cold front moving through. We stay hot and mostly dry really through Saturday, about a 20% chance of rain, 30% as we head into Sunday and not a bad Labor Day. Few more showers by Tuesday, better rain chance on Wednesday as keep your fingers crossed that cold front moves through the area. If that happens, cover me in pumpkin spice and call me happy. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's okay. what I'll do. Please do. All right, let's just hope it happens. It was a good day for the Saints and Metairie.